far as a result of an airbag exploding, and thousands more have been injured because of that. But, as two on your side found out, drivers are struggling with more than just waiting for the parts to arrive. CBS2 investigator Christine Lazar is here now with more on that. Christine. Pat and Jeff, just earlier this month, right here in the San Fernando Valley, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration urged those affected by the Takata airbag recall to get their cars fixed. California has the most unrepaired cars on the road with more than 2.7 million. Problem is, there is a shortage of parts, and now it appears there may also be a shortage of the rental cards Ford is offering to its customers. Do you feel comfortable putting anybody in the passenger side? Absolutely not. There's no way I would put anybody's life in peril like that. Cody Johnson tells Two on Your Side he won't drive his 2011 Ford Fusion if he has his wife or children with him. I can't put my family in it. I don't feel safe putting my family in it, and I'm not going to put my family in it. Back in December, he got a letter from Ford telling him not to put anyone in the front passenger seat due to the Takata airbag recall. The sheer anger of the fact that I can't drive the car that I bought in its intended use. Johnson has been waiting two years for parts to become available to fix his car. The first recall notice was sent to him in July of 2016. And they're hoping that people will just, I don't know, lay down and just wait. But two years is ridiculous to get the car fixed. Earlier this month, Johnson thought things were looking up when he got another letter from Ford telling him they were going to cover a rental car until his airbag was fixed. The letter directs customers to contact their local Ford dealership. But Cody tells us when he called his two local dealerships, he was told they don't have any rental cars available. And you called within 24 hours of receiving this notice? That's correct. And they said, sorry, we don't have any. We don't have any, and we don't have any way of helping you with that at all. Melissa Bray got the same letter about her 2012 Ford Fusion, but when she called to get a rental, she says she was told by her local dealership that she would have to front the $100 deposit. Also, she'd have to pay out of pocket $3 a day. Ford is only covering $30 a day, and Melissa says she was told the cheapest rental is 33. Ford said in the letter it could be weeks, if not months, until the parts are available. You know, in my luck, it would be the end of September, and what is that, 90 times 3? You know, I don't have that. Melissa recently lost her job. What do you feel like your options are? I don't know that I have any options. I'm hoping that with you doing this story, that not only just for myself, but I'm sure there's more people out there like myself that don't have the money that, you know, Ford's going to step up. Cody says at this point, he just wants to get rid of the car. Can't sell it because nobody's going to buy it if it's... Uh, got a blazing recall on it, especially a safety issue. So he too feels like he's out of options. To the point where I just want to park the car and forget I even own it. After two on your side contacted Ford, they offered to call both Cody and Melissa. For Melissa, they've offered to cover up to $40 a day for a rental car so she doesn't have to make up the difference. And for Cody, Ford hasn't reached out to him yet, but they assure me they will by tomorrow and that Ford will be providing him with a loaner car. I pressed them and said, I'm sure there's other people out there who are not finding any rentals available. What should they do? And they just said to call the customer service number at Ford. And if that doesn't work, then call me. Yeah. Or do both. Get ready, because I'm sure the customer service <laughs> you know isn't that great. So that meaning, though. Say, just, just Get ready. Just put her on your fast dial. Yeah. <laughs> We're here. All right, Christine. Well, can two on your side help you? Just email.